Welcome to Wattle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can create a CSV email list to use with Gmail. Let's get straight into it. A CSV file, or comma separated variable file, is just a list of items such as names or email addresses separated by a comma. We'll go into Google Sheets to create our CSV file. If you're logged into Google already as I am, you can quickly access Google Sheets by clicking on the square icon in the top right of your browser window. You'll see that the Sheets app is one of the options shown. I'll click on that. To create a new spreadsheet for my CSV list, I'll click on the plus icon in the corner. I'll call this Google Sheet Contacts by clicking into the title area and naming it. In order to create a list of email addresses that Google Contacts and Gmail can use, it needs to be in the right format. There are three key pieces of information I need to provide. Firstly, I'll add a column for the first name of the email recipient. Next, I'll add a column for their last name. And the final column to add is for an email address. It's important that you use the exact same column names that I've used in this example to ensure that the CSV file is correctly understood when used with Gmail. I'm going to manually populate my list using 10 fictional email addresses that I'll make up. But you should use the email addresses for the people you want to add to your Gmail contact group. Once you're happy with your email list, the final step to take is to save this Google Sheet as a CSV file format. To do that, let's click on File, and I'll then choose the Download option. I'm then presented with a number of download options. I'll scroll down and click on the Comma Separated Values link. And you'll then see that the file download starts straight away and has a .csv file type. It's worth noting that Google Contacts only allows a maximum of 3,000 email contacts to be uploaded in each CSV file. If you need to add more than 3,000 contacts, you'll need to split this up across multiple email lists. If you want to find out how to add the CSV file you've created to Google Contacts so you can use it with Gmail, check out the Wuggle guide shown above that explains how to do this. I hope you found this Wuggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.